This is Gemini Canvas and this is lovable. Tools that you can use for prototyping web applications. But which one is better? Canvas or lovable? Spoiler alert, it's Canvas. In this video, I'm going to show you Gemini Canvas and we are going to compare it to Lovable to see which one produces the best results. Now let's begin with Gemini Canvas. The first prompt that I'd like to do is, can you do this? And I uploaded a wireframe image that Gemini can use as a reference. This is from their landing page and I wanted to see if this is true or just a marketing strategy. So let's give it a go. And I'm going to record actually how long it's gonna take because I want to see if it's going to be fast or slower than lovable and uh, let's just give it a moment and here you go canvas only took 35 seconds that is impressive now let me try the same prompt for a lovable now this could take a little more time so I'm just gonna fast forward well, Lovable took almost two minutes. I've tried both results and I would say the one from Gemini is much better. While it has almost the same components, I prefer the UI made by Gemini. It's clean and it's actually working. The app made by Lovable has an issue and that is the doodle area and the brush. It is not working. I tried to brush somewhere else, but it's not really displaying. I tried different colors, it's not working. And when it comes to the sounds, I'll let you be the judge. Now let's move on to the next project. This time I want to create a 3D platform game using 3JS. And the result is pretty impressive. Unfortunately, I encountered two issues, but it was pretty easy to fix because all you need to do is click one button and Canvas will fix them on its own. To me, it pretty much did what I was looking for, but the controls are not working. I tried to press our keys, but it's not working, though the camera controls are working. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can pan. Overall, this is good. Now with Lovable, unfortunately, it did not produce any output. And as you can see here, you can also fix the issues by pressing one button. But I'm only using free credits, so I'm not going to waste the remaining credits just to fix this because I want to use that for the next project. Anyway, that's actually one of the things that I don't like about Lovable. It's the fact that it's using credits and that forces users or me to write as much context as possible just to save credits. Whereas with Gemini Canvas, you can try again and again and again and again and you won't have to worry about credits. In fact, Gemini Canvas is free. Yes, the pro models, is limited access but it's free and honestly if you compare lovable and gemini's pricing and features you would get more from gemini pro you have access to the pro model you have access to flow to create videos you have access to whisk and you have two terabytes of storage just for 22 euros or 25 dollars i think it's literally the same price and what do you get from lovable remove the lovable badge <laughs> What a joke. I know you get custom domain, but you can literally get that for less than $10 per year. I just need to fact check myself. The domain is not included. What you're basically getting is the ability to use custom domains, meaning you still have to buy a domain. Yikes. You know what, fun fact, I actually applied as a content creator for Lovable and yeah, they rejected me because apparently there's someone better than me out there. Uh, that kind of hurts. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the next app. This time, I want to build a landing page in a neo-brutalism web design style. And here's the output of Gemini Canvas. Again, this only took like less than a minute and it's already pretty impressive. The UI is consistent. It's using the right color for the components that need focus. Overall, this is something that I would actually use. It's looking great. It looks great. Now I tried to create the same landing page with Lovable and this one took three minutes, almost. So this one is slower than the first prompt. But I gotta say that the UI is really good. It has hover animations, the links are working, and the footer looks professional. I have minor nitpicks like the colors that it used, but other than that, I like it better than what Gemini Canvas produced. Now I wanna focus on Gemini Canvas this time. I created another project and it's an app that helps users learn a language. For example, French, and this is the app that it produced. It's a very simple app, but what I want to show you is this. 
add Gemini features. What this is going to do is add AI to your project. So if you click this, Gemini is going to start integrating AI to your prototype. And once that is finished, you will see an API key button where you can paste your Gemini API key. You can get that key from AI Studio. And if you go to a lesson, we will have all of this explain buttons that will trigger an API request or a prompt. It's going to talk to Gemini that, hey, can you explain this? And if you just give it some time, we will get an explanation. There we go. Now notice that we have a problem with model. The height is too big. So there's a new feature that you can use here and that is the select and ask. This will allow you to highlight a section of your prototype and you can ask Gemini to fix that or work on that section. For example, here, I will just highlight the whole model and tell Gemini that it is too big. And there we go. The model is now fixed. Now let's talk about what I don't like about Gemini Canvas. Listen, Gemini Canvas is really impressive and I really feel like it is a great tool for just prototyping, but I wish there's a way to make full stack applications or, you know, there's a way to create React app with Node or with other languages or programming languages for building backends. I try to make it use React and use an API to fetch data from third party APIs or whatever, but the code that it wrote is pretty much hard to follow. In fact, it just wrote some of the components. So I would say Gemini Canvas is only good if you're only making HTML, CSS, and JavaScript project. And this is where Lovable actually wins because Lovable can make full stack applications. But I want to tell you that there is actually a way to create full stack applications using Gemini, and that is through their AI studio. And there you can tell Gemini to build you an app using a framework and you will have access to all of the files or components that it wrote. But you know what? That is another tool that we can cover in another video. So let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, guys, that is Gemini Canvas versus Lovable. Based on the results, which one do you think is better? Canvas or Lovable? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Weekly Health for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.